Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our paint program. Now if this, is a, this isn't familiar to you, you may want to move back to the beginning of these tutorials. And once again, this program is from the book Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 um, by Theron Willis and Brian Newsom, published by Rox. Um, it's a great book. Um, but there are better books out there. Uh, it's still good for beginners to, beginners to learn, and it takes you through making a whole bunch of programs. So let's go ahead and continue what we were doing. So here is our Paint Canvas class. We've got our enumerations, the graphic sizes, and the graphics tools. So we'll go ahead and put those two together. Now let's go ahead and create some public variables. So public variables and let's make an array list so public graphics items as new array list and we're going to create a graphics tool so public graphic tool as graphics tools and we're going to set that equal to graphics tools dot circle pin because that is our only option and now we'll cre we will create the graphic size so public graphics size as graphic sizes and then we're going to set it equal to graphic sizes dot medium so we'll just make the brush medium size right now and now we're going to need one more variable so public graphics color as color and we'll set it equal to color dot black we'll just go ahead and add an s right there so these are all matched up so here we have our graphics item array list and this is going to hold a whole bunch of graphics items object. Now it can also hold graphics circle objects because the graphics circles inherit from um, the graphics items they are treated as a graphics items object even though that an array list can hold um, any data type we're going to be filling it with types either graphics items or graphics circles. And then we have our graphics tool which is the circle pin which is what we're going to be drawing um, on the paint canvas with it's a circle pin we've got a graphic size which is set to uh, medium which will be 10 and just a kind of a little bit of spoiler 10 is going to be the side of the square so it's going to be a 10 by 10 square it's going to create a circle out of that so it's going to have a circle with a diameter of 10 pixels and then we have our color our graphics color which is going to be equal to black and that's pretty self-explanatory Okay, so now we need to make some private methods. So we'll just call this one private and we'll make it a sub because it doesn't return anything and we'll call it do mouse paint. And what we're gonna need for do mouse paint is um, a, some arguments. So we're just gonna need one arguments and we're gonna buy val e as mouse event args. So E is going to be the arguments and what it's going to let us do is it's going to let us get the X position and the Y position of where the mouse is on the screen. So what we've used mouse event args before in the program that animated the square. So under do, do mouse uh, paint what we're going to do is create a new object. So we'll call it object graphics item as graphics item so now we have a graphics items ob item object you can see that's got the little green line under it because we haven't used it yet um, so now we're going to select which tool we are using so we'll use a select case here but because we are only using um, one 
uh, there's only one possible um, thing for this, we're going to only need one select case in here. Now the reason we're doing select case is in case we want to add more to our program later on, we can just add some items to our select case and add some items to our enumeration and our program is going to work on the same way it did but we're going to have some more options. Now this is a good thing to do um, when you're making programs is to make it so that you can expand your program um, and so it's easier to add more stuff uh, in the future. So we'll just add case graphics tool or graphics tools dot circle pin. So if circle pin is selected, what do we want to do? We we want to create a new um, object of graphics circle. So we'll just declare it. So object graphics circle and we're going to make a new graphics cir circle object so you can see we have it right here which is what we created and it doesn't take any arguments so now that we've created our object of graphics circle which is going to draw a circle on the screen um, what we want to do is we want to set the point for that so object graphics circle dot set point it's going to take our X position, our Y position, our size, color, and is filled. So to get our X position, what we want to do is type E dot X. So for our mouse event args, E dot X is going to hold the X position, position of the mouse. And then we're going to do E dot Y for the Y coordinates. And if we come over here to graphics circle, or graphics item, I mean, we have set point. It's going to take the x and subtract graphic size divided by 2 from it, which basically just sets um, wherever your mouse, the middle of your mouse is, to the center of the circle instead of the top left corner. So come back over here to paintcanvas.bb. And then we're going to need to fill in uh, the rest of the arguments. So for the third argument, we're just going to do graphics size. So, and then we're going to need graphic color. So, let's find the name up here. This gets a little confusing. Uh, graphics color. And then we're going to need the graphics is filled. So, for this, we're just going to use true because we do want to fill our um, circle. Now you can play with this and set that equal to false if you want and see what happens later on. So now what we need to do is we need to store this item so that we can add it to our array list. So object graphics item equals object graphics circle. Now we have object graphics items which is of type graphics items. So this variable right here is of type graphics items. But because object graphics circle, um, which is a graphic circle, inherits from graphics items, we can use polymorphism to set this equal to a subclass of itself. So we're going to add more to this sub when we get back. Um, it's just I'm running out of time in this tutorial. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if not, go ahead and move forward.